what happens when the center distance changes slightly so in the this blue color one represent the original position so this is the a and this is the b and it's rotating like this so in the original position what happens this is the phi you know and this is also phi so this is the angle of action now i slightly change position of the center b from b to here this is the b to b dash i will change so that this is the new this is the uh, you know new base circle this is the new base circle and i have drawn a tan you know tangent joining these two so this is the this is the p1 this is a p original pitch point and this is the p1 this is the change of p1 pitch point so if i draw this one this will become phi dash and here if i join this one this is also become phi dash new phi, sorry if i join from here this is also become phi dash phi dash so we p dash changed phi dash changed and here the center distance also changed the value from oh, no b p to b dash p dash and a p to a p dash so now we want to see still it will pro whether it it produces the constant angular velocity or not so here the point this point become a c dash here and uh, this point become d dash but uh, still you know ac equal to ac dash equal to smaller the radius and uh, here bd equal to b dash d dash equal to capital r so these are always constant and uh, if i take you know velocity of this one this is a vp dash so again i will equate the velocities at this point so what happens so if i equate velocity omega into ap dash equal to omega 2 into b dash p dash but if i take a triangle a c dash p dash here this is a phi and uh, this is again 90 degrees and uh, let's say this is a uh, some alpha value and if i take a uh, b dash d dash and a uh, p dash here this is a phi dash again the angle between a uh, b p b d b dash p dash and a uh, b dash d dash is a phi dash and this is again a uh, 90 degrees and uh, this became alpha so again these two triangles became a uh, sim you know, similar what are those two triangle a c dash uh, c dash and uh, you know b dash d dash p dash so when these two are similar again so what i can write is omega by omega n 2 equal to b p dash by a p dash so here this one a p dash so to i need to prove this as a constant so to prove that i need to write in the you know constant variables what is the constant variables i need to write you know yeah, here the capital R and the small r. So what is the capital R here? That is a b dash d dash. So if I write b dash d dash, then what is the equivalent side in this one? That is the a c dash because these two are similar. So the angle opposite to b dash d dash is the here alpha. In the same way, in this triangle, if I take alpha here, what is the side opposite to this alpha angle? That is the a c dash. So this is the one and if I substitute these values that is the capital R by small r and these are always constant irrespective of you know change in the position because these are a geometrical so fixed geometrical variable. So here in this case also we got the constant angular velocity and you know, it's a satisfying the law of gearing also. So from this we can conclude that you know small change in the central distance is allowed in case of the involute profile. We have seen different types of gear profiles. So when we have a different types of gray profiles, if you want to replace our one gas, then we here we need to follow the standardization. So what is the standardization? So whenever you know gears having the same yeah, module and the same pressure angle and the addendum, didendum, this is the addendum and this is the didendum, and the thickness, thickness of the you know tooth. So whenever these four are equal are the same then those gears can be you know easily interchangeable so they can be replaced with you know, have other gear having the uh, other gear which is having the same these uh, you no know, four parameters so this is called as the interchangeable 
of the gas number of teeth in contact whenever two gas are in engaged engagement then we we need to know how many number of teeth are in contact so that is given as a arc of the contact by circular pitch so we know arc of the contact arc of the contact is measured along the uh, pitch circle if this is a pitch circle and this is arc of contact arc of contact means the you know uh, this, this length from the starting of the engagement to the end of the engagement so within this one we need to find out the circular pitch for example if i take you know a point on this uh, tooth here then the next similar point on the other you know consecutive tooth if this is the one then this is the uh, circular pitch and uh, the total distance of this you know arc of contact by circular pitch will give the number of teeth in contact and that is given as ef by cos pi so what is that the ef by cos pi we have seen the ef by cos pi is the projection of the you know path of contact ef is the path of contact and the e dash f dash is the arc of contact so you just go back and refer the nomenclature video so this is a projection that gives the arc of contact and circular pitch is a small p this is a smaller p and the same thing can be represented in terms of angles also that is the angle of action angle of action is nothing but the angle made by the arc of contact at the center so this is the angle of action this is a you know uh, uh, delta and uh, divided by pitch angle so angle made by the pitch circle so this is the this is the gamma so delta by gamma also gives the you know number of teeth in a contact and uh, for the continuous motion at least one teeth in contact